Marking a milestone that's filled with faith, community, and sisterhood, St. Louis Catholic Women's League is celebrating their 100th anniversary. Well, St. Louis Church was the first parish to have a Catholic Women's League in Waterloo, and it was started by two sisters, the Bauer sisters. So they had their first meeting on March 12, 1924, and it was a, a, a combination of all the women in Waterloo in the Catholic parishes. They had a mandate to bring Catholic women together for a purpose. Last September, we decided we had to do something to celebrate our 100th anniversary. I'm involved with others on the history committee, and we went through, we have all the minutes of the meetings back to 1924. We went through all those files and created panels depicting the history for the last 100 years. In 1924, one of the first projects the CWL completed was to furnish the nursery at St. Mary's Hospital. I probably joined because my mom was a member, my grandmother was a member. I think that's why a lot of the women join. But then once they join, it's because of the friendships, the, the faith, the social justice, everything that you get out of it. I mean, CWL creates community, and it's true. In church, you, you see people and you go, oh, there's a CWL member. And the ladies that are part of this council are phenomenal. They're kind, they're good, they're giving. This, this whole thing about celebrating the 100th anniversary and even being part of your community uh, recordings here, it's showing that an organization based on faith so, uh, and service and social justice, there's so much negativity and cruelty and violence in the news that I'm hoping people will see, look at there's this group of ladies, we're 105 strong, and we've been here for 100 years and we're not going anywhere. I think that speaks to the strength of, of our organization. The CWL has multiple fundraising initiatives to raise money for local and international organizations. So we, we give every year and then we do a major fundraising in the fall around Christmas time and the, all of the proceeds from that we give to the missions, uh, Canadian missions and abroad. And when we were at our, our celebration on Sunday, one of the things that we had in our possession that we found back in August when we were going through all our stuff, we found a handwritten letter from Mother Teresa of Calcutta. We had sent her money in 1986 from our mission sale. She sent us this letter. We took this letter and had it framed and we presented it to the bishop to be placed in the archives of the Diocese of Hamilton. That's pretty major, like that's major stuff. So we do continue to, to raise money and we give it away. We have a little bit that we need for our own operating expenses but most of the stuff, money that we raise in, in November is all given to the missions. Well, I'm, I'm with the idea too that the first thing I would say is join just to be that name that we can make a difference just that way. Right now you may not have time, but as time goes on, you may have time or you may, that we may come up with a pro, uh, project that you think I have time to do that one project. So just come out, join us in our social activities, in our fundraising activities. Even if it's only just one time, just come and join us for, for that time and, 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 and you'll meet people and you'll be rewarded and you'll, you'll just feel really good about what you're going to do. I'm very honored to be with these ladies and, and they teach me so much and they are great friends and great sisters and great fellow Catholics. So, yeah. Carla Fitzsimmons, your region this week, Waterloo.